Howdy folks, this is the A250T from Snapmaker and we did the 3D printing last week or on Monday. The Snapmaker is said to be a 3-in-1 machine and as I've said we've tried the uh, 3D printer on Monday and it worked out like wow it's a good 3D printer. So the next question is, is it any good as a laser or you know how good is it? <laughs> yeah. So today we're going to switch everything over here and we're going to do the laser thing. but. I also want to take a look and just see how long does it take to switch over to laser. I don't think it'll take very long because you change the bed, change the head, and I guess you're good to go again. Let's find out. I put the uh, enclosure on, like I, yeah, I think I already said it while I put it in the enclosure on. There's a screwdriver that comes with this uh, outfit that you probably want to keep, really keep this handy for this machine because this fits all the little nuts and bolts. Now there's four bolts at the back of this, also this cable. We're going to unplug the cable and just set it aside for the moment and then I'm going to get these cap screws out of here and remove these. The uh, PLA of course in this case was already removed so there, it didn't have to you know unload it or something. So, oh, there's the other cap screw and yep there we go. In fact I could even leave the screw and everything in the screwdriver in place because now I have the laser which is right here and of course there's the four bolts on the back side of the laser and so all we got to do is uh, line up these four bolts with our screws again. Alright so just have four cap screws in the back of the laser and uh, we'll just back up a little bit so you can kind of see what we're about to, you know where we're at. There, there we're all done with that. Oh also the plug that was in the uh, head for the other one you just push it and put it into the laser now so we're now switched over to laser mode whatever okay we need to access the screws under the plate it just so happens to be magnetic which you probably saw in the first video and there's these umpteen whatever it was screws here and again uh, we're going to be using that screwdriver that came with the kit because it is every bit you know it's an awesome little driver so I'll take all these screws out and remove this plate and then when we come back we'll install the new laser plate. Okay, so we've got all the screws out and we're just going to lift this. This is the heat plate. So you're going to want to disconnect and set all of this aside. And uh, so I'm going to go around and unplug it from where it's at and now we're going to be working on this to put the uh, laser uh, type grid on here so we can do laser work. Okay, so here's your laser plates and kind of shouldn't be any confusion here at all. You've only got this one, one is the center obviously because it only has the two center holes which will go locate like this and then you will have, let's see if we can get this right, yeah there we go. This one here top and bottom is going to be your corner with your two holes and then this other one over here top and bottom on the outside you have the two holes, two on the inside and your plate's going to line up like that. So you don't have as many screws to put in, yay! <laughs> After only a couple minutes, uh, a minute, whatever, I've got the new pieces in place. I've put the screws in and got the plate laid down. This is kind of like your, well, it's your working surface for a laser because your board is going to be stuck on top of this. And I think what we're going to do is just use some blue tape, painter's tape or something. Just hold the board in place while we uh, run the laser and uh, we'll do our, our first test and see how the laser works. Yeah, I, I think we're ready to go. I don't know, just get my clock goggles on and uh, have at it. Hey, we switched over to the laser which is not so bad. Now the next thing we got to do is calibrate that laser to where the actual focal length is. It's really its work area. So I've got a piece of scrap lumber in here and I guess we need to power up. Let's see if we can. This is the first time I've done this. Uh, material fix. Okay just a second. We don't have that. Um, I don't have this in place. Uh, somebody uh, suggests the idea just use some painters tape to hold the board in place while you do the uh, calibration. So uh, I guess that'll work or it should. And we're going to go to the next step, which is to start the calibration. Okay, set material thickness, uh, and that's in millimeters. Okay, 3.5 millimeter, close enough for uh, <clears throat> what we're doing. So now we're scaling this up to 3.5. Okay, save that, and go. Returning autofocus, the machine needs to know where the height or the laser engraving cutting platform is. 
Okay, on the laser, this is now attempt number six. Uh, I'm setting up the laser focal point, and we're just going to start the work origin again. And let's see if we can... Got my glasses on. You guys can watch. You're safe. Me, I'm not so safe. Yeah. <laughs> but let's do this, and uh, let's see what it does. And it's engraving the uh, lines and then the camera there's a camera in here by the way yeah it's going to look at those lines and determine if that's the right focal point for the laser to be uh, working at it looks really good and it's also uh, making uh, lines that are like really hard and then getting lighter and lighter all right so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we've loaded a small file up and we're going to put the file on here and just see if the laser will work with it and let's see, it should be, I guess that text thing right there. Ready. Auto mode. Uh, material thickness, it, material thickness is actually, in this case, it's about three and a half. So let's see how we do with three and a half. Yep. Hmm. All right. Ah, right there. Okay. Safety goggles. Okay. And I think we'll even uh, <clears throat> go ahead and uh, close these sides up and uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, close all this up and uh, yeah. Oh heck. Nah. You know what? Let's just leave this open. Let's see if it opens so you guys can... Uh-oh. <sighs> One other quick note. If you do this, start the fan first. Then go to your project. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're at 100% complete on the laser cut. So let's see how we did. Uh, there's going to be a lot of smoke coming out of here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really should have that exhaust fan running before you do this. Yeah, just, you know, make a note. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that laser is very, very strong. Look at this. Wow, I stopped it up here, made some adjustments, came back. But, yeah, that has gone, that has done a beautiful job. And that's just right off their software that's included with the machine from Snapmaker. So, I would say that's, uh, yeah, that's a win. Wow. Apparently it's a pretty good laser. It'll also cut through this lumber easily. There's a project they include which makes a little, uh, little uh, gift box thing out of uh, lumber, which is really nice. But uh, right now I just wanted to see, I'm looking for text because in lasers that's mostly the kind of engraving thing that a lot of people like to do is they're looking for texting where they can you know engrave something nice like that. So that looks like it came out really good. I'm, uh, I'm kind of impressed. Wow, it's actually a good laser. How about that? The Snapmaker A250T, the three-in-one. Can it print? Can it 3D print good? Yeah, it really can. <laughs> Is it a laser? It looks like it's every part of laser. So we, that only leaves one thing, the CNC. But uh, the other thing I got to thank Snapmaker for was they sent over this beautiful uh, cabinet, and this thing has an amazing amount of features. It has a built-in exhaust fan which is and you know plugged in and interfaced with the rest of the system. It also has LED lighting, uh, should, should be on both sides, facing down at the top here, and that will help you to, you can turn lights on and off inside the machine to watch, you know, different projects. Obviously not for laser work, you shouldn't be needing that, but uh, the cabinet is extremely nice, extruded type alloy, like aluminum, uh, with you have two doors completely that will open on two angles which will give you all the should give you all the access you need to do any adjustments or any fine tuning going on once you've put the two together like I have here but uh, the cabinet is really something and it is it is just you know it looks expensive on the uh, internet but it's because what you're buying is like wow you know like it is really something and it comes with some nice features um, so far we've got two, like I said, 3D and you know laser, it does both really well. Okay, so, so far we're doing really well, and we've only got the one stage left to test, and that would be the CNC machine, but 
I also thought I really need to show you the software because the software is really cool for, especially if you're just starting out or if you ha want all three in one shop. And rather than run around and look for software, it comes with a nice piece of software package that will run all three of these functions. And I want to show you that. So let's go to my desktop and see if we can show you that. Here is the SnapMaker software downloaded from SnapMaker that will allow you to run this machine. As soon as you open it, you have this immediate uh, nice page right here. You have 3D printing, you have a laser, and you have CNC, of course. And right from 3D printing, we'll just click on that. And there's your build plate you know, for what you're going to be doing your 3D printing on. You can bring your file in from like Thingiverse or whatever, set it up here, slice it, and then generate a G-code and put that on the USB uh, that comes with the SnapMaker, plug it in. The SnapMaker will read the file and go ahead and, and build whatever that, you know, 3D print item is that you want. Go back to home here. And same thing with the laser. Here's the three-axis laser. Again, you'll set that up for your work area for whatever it is. I'll just confirm it at this point. And you've got text and shapes. Also some freehand, uh, I guess we call it line or pencil line here. And you also have uh, camera capture, that kind of thing. So you've got all kinds of nice options with this and it's right here with the machine. And go back and once again, and we're gonna flip over here to CNC machine and we'll set up the CNC and say, okay, that's our path. And we'll set up a tool path process and whatever to cut something uh, using the CNC machine. So all three, of these things that you can do with this machine, you have this software right here to back it up. And I, I think that, you know, that, that says a lot right there that it allows you to do all that. Yeah, the software is kind of basic, like I showed you, but at the same time, it's powerful enough to let you do all three things with this machine, and it sort of gets you going. There was some projects on that site, too, as well, that you can pull up. There are just some suggestive projects that you could uh, get you started kind of thing, which is cool, again, you know. But uh, this is probably the only machine I've seen where they actually have software to back it up with right away. That's, you know, the other ones you've got to go into the internet and start shopping all over online trying to find software to run any of those three items. So, uh, Monday, I guess what we'll do is we'll switch this over again on Monday and we'll do uh, CNC machining and see how, how it is for, as a CNC. It has proven to be as much a laser as I thought it might be, but it was actually a little stronger laser than I expected. <laughs> and a lot of smoke. <laughs> but it was good. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell. And uh, we will be back Monday with CNC. Uh, Saturday, we might do a blog. I don't know just yet. I guess it depends. I did have some topics for Saturdays or something that I was thinking about doing. But meantime, uh, the other thing too is please comment below if you'd like to see more of uh, me running the software on the desktop or something to see that part of the function of what's happening with uh, any these machines, the three, any, you know, the, the CNC, the 3D printer, the uh, laser, whatever, you know, let me know uh, because we could do a show just uh, on software, you know, and what happens and how that works. But uh, I have to admit, we right now, we really don't have a lot of time for it. I've got a lot of other stuff, a lot of other machines we need to cover, but this one here, we need to get this out of the way. So uh, Monday, CNC, and we're going to give it a shot. I'm out of here. Whew, over and out.